So you've booked your trip to Japan and your plane ticket says you're arriving at NRT. Okay, great. What is NRT and where is it? And more importantly, how do I get to central Tokyo or my hotel from there? Well, don't worry because I'm going to answer those questions and more in this video. So in this video, I'm going to briefly introduce NRT or Narita International Airport uh, and then go through the commonly used transport options to get into central Tokyo, including the travel times and costs. Uh, and then I'll also give you my thoughts and advice regarding each option to help you decide which is the better option for you. With that being said, let's get going. So there are two international airports in Tokyo. Uh, one of them is Narita International Airport, NRT, which is located about 80 kilometers east of central Tokyo. Uh, and the other one being Haneda International Airport, HND, and is located about 30 kilometers south of Tokyo. Uh, both airports are perfectly good entry points into Japan. So both airports have plenty of shops and restaurants, uh, currency exchanges, SIM card and Wi-Fi rentals, and JR Pass exchange offices, uh, as well as trains, buses and taxis to help you get into the city, uh, which I'll go through in a little bit. So here are the recommended options to get from Narita International Airport into central Tokyo. Uh, just a note that if you have the Japan Rail Pass exchange voucher, uh, there is an uh, exchange office located uh, at the basement floor of Terminal 1 and 2, uh, where the JR trains are located, uh, if you want to activate your pass uh, right away. Uh, also, the prices I'm going to mention are all adult prices for one way. Uh, in most cases, uh, children between the ages of 6 to 12 is just half the adult price. So just uh, divide the price by half. Uh, and children 5 and below travel for free as long as they don't occupy a seat. So option number one is the Narita Express train. Uh, it is the fastest option, uh, but it's also the most expensive besides taxis. So it'll take about 55 minutes to get from the airport to Tokyo Station and cost you about 3,000 yen one way. Uh, it is covered by the Japan Rail Pass. So if you have the Japan Rail Pass and activate it on day one, uh, then it is a good option. Uh, just remember that even though it's covered by the pass, you still need to make a reservation, a seat reservation, uh, using the seat reservation ticket machine uh, in order to take this train. Uh, and you will get on at Narita Airport Terminal 1 or 2 and get off at Tokyo Station. So option 2 is the Keisei Narita Airport Line Skyliner, orange line, uh, which takes about 1 hour and costs about uh, 2,700 yen to get to Tokyo Station. Uh, this is a private railway, so it is not covered by the JR Pass. So if you don't have the JR Pass, or if you need to get to one of the other major stations uh, in Tokyo, like Shibuya or Shinjuku, then this might be a better option for you. So you will get on at Narita Airport Terminal 1 or 2, uh, and then transfer at Nippori Station to the JR Yamanote Line, the Green City Loop Line. Uh, towards Tokyo and the other major stations. So just a note on the JR Yamanote line. It is a city loop line located within Tokyo uh, and it is popular among tourists because it can take you to many sightseeing spots and transfer points uh, such as Shinjuku, Shibuya, Ikebukuro, Ueno, Shinagawa and Tokyo uh, along the one line so it is very convenient. Uh, just note the direction before getting on the train. Uh, so you don't go the full circle before arriving at your destination, uh, which I have done uh, plenty of times. So option three is the KC Mainline Express, uh, which is a blue line uh, and takes about one hour and 30 minutes to get to Tokyo and costs about 1,500 yen. And it is also not covered by the JR Pass. So if you want a cheaper option and don't mind the longer travel times, or if you just miss all the other trains, then this is another option for you. Uh, it is basically like a cheaper and longer version of option 2. So you will get on at Narita Airport Terminal 1 or 2 uh, and also transfer at Nippori Station to the JR Yamanote Line for Tokyo and the other major stations. So option 4 is the Airport Limousine Bus which takes about 1 hour and 25 minutes to get to Tokyo Station depending on traffic and costs about 2,800 yen. So the good thing about the airport limousine bus is that they not only stop at the major stations within Tokyo, but they also stop at the major hotels as well, which you can actually specify when you uh, make the 
ticket purchase. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can see which hotels and stations it stops at. So even if your hotel is not listed in the list, you can just stop at one of the major hotels nearby and walk from there. So this option can get you direct from the airport to your hotel. So if you're traveling with young children or a lot of luggage, then this option will save you a lot of hassles from transferring between trains and stations. Uh, so I would definitely consider the airport limousine bus uh, as an option. So option five is just a shuttle bus to Tokyo Station, uh, which is a very cheap option or the cheapest option. Uh, it takes about 1 hour and 30 minutes and costs between 1,000 to 1,300 yen. Uh, so if you're traveling by yourself or if you're on a low budget, then this is an option for you. I'll put some links in the description to take you to the uh, booking website. So the last option, option 6, is your taxis and it is the most expensive option. Uh, and it'll cost you close to 25,000 yen or more to get to uh, Tokyo from the airport. And it takes about 1 hour depending on traffic. So this will be like a, one of the last resorts. Uh, so the only time I will recommend taking a taxi is if your flight time is at an, like an odd hour, uh, like you know 3 a.m. or something, and there's no other options available, then you probably have to take a taxi. So only take the taxi if there's no other options available, basically. So there is another option, which is car rentals, which I kind of skipped, uh, because I think driving in Tokyo is more confusing than taking the trains, uh, especially for tourists. And I'm also planning on making a separate video on car rentals in the future, so keep an eye out on that. So here's a summary of all the different options. So you can skip to here if you just want to see the table uh, and the available options available to you. Uh, if you need help purchasing train tickets or taking the train, uh, then I've made a separate video which I'll put a link somewhere here, uh, which you can take a look. So I hope this video has given you many options to get from Narita Airport into Central Tokyo. If you have the JR Pass, then trains is the better option. Uh, but otherwise, the airport limousine bus is a good alternative to get you directly to your hotel with little hassle. And lastly, I recommend getting an IC card uh, when you come to Japan at the airport uh, to save you time when lining up and you know, figuring out ticket prices. Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any questions below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more content from me and I'll see you in the next video.